in this video I'll show you how you can start using mix buses for sound design and audio processing. Here I have a few drum sounds that I'll be using as an example. To make routing easier, I'll bounce those tracks in place as a single region by pressing Ctrl B. Next I can press X to open mixer and choose single track view to focus on selected region. Before I begin adding buses, let me explain how audio routing works in Logic. Your original source, be that MIDI instrument or audio sample, by default is sent straight to stereo output, then to your interface and speakers or headphones. Mixer allows you to change the signal path, so you could send it to a bus and then through that bus it will reach the main output. This way you can send signal to multiple buses in parallel which gives you great flexibility in creating layers of audio and use fader as a dry wet balance. Before we see how it works, you should know that you can send signal post fader, so changes in volume on the bus will affect the output, or pre fader, which sends audio straight to other destinations before its volume fader. It will make more sense when I start playing with the mixer. So let's get back to it. First I'm going to change the output of drum loop to a new empty bus. Next I'll add multiple send buses. I think 3 should give you plenty of room for experimentation. Don't forget to change sense to pre-fader, so we can use main bus as a dry wet control. Hold option key and click send knobs to reset them to zero. This way sense will receive the same volume level as original source. You can see that all 5 tracks have equal volume. Make sure you have limiter on your stereo output to avoid clipping. Now I can start adding effects. First let's try Beat Crusher. Solo the send bus to hear what added effects does. I think this should work. Let's unsolo the bus and hear it with the original sound. And if you've done it correctly, your main bus will act as a dry wet balance. Let's move to the second send bus and add some reverb. Logic's reverb designer comes with drum transformers, which can add tonal qualities to your drum samples. Let's see how it sounds. And again, I will mute other tracks so I can hear one effect at a time. I quite like this effect. You should explore other presets, most of them sound great with percussive samples. And we can move to the last bus. I think I want to add some modulation, and step effects should work fine. There are some warp presets that can also enhance drum samples. Now it's time to mix all three effects together, and hear what it sounds like. Next you can bounce the dry signal. Let's compare before and after. I think now you should be able to use Logic's mixer routing for some creative sound processing. Have fun!